for those who just tuned in, this is Econi Chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. I'm your host, Elsa B. Tibignani. We are talking Black Friday, uh, what it is all about. We actually ca- uh, comes from, like Mr. Daniel Steinman did explain to us in our previous talk. Uh, so um, Black Friday, Mr. Daniel Steinman, is would you call it it is the kick off of the festive season certainly certainly mm-hmm. certainly if you if you look at what businesses and i'm talking specifically retail businesses although they it is not only retailers who offer black friday specials yeah you see that in accommodation mm. hotels lodges blah 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 but it is certainly i i refer to it as an inflection point and for certain industries it is it marks the start of the profit that they will make basically for the whole year mm. if you if you look at the at tourism there are three distinguishable seasons in the tourism year the one is the first half that is very dead mm. and very mm. lackluster and um fairly predictable because there's not much going on mm. then we have uh, the northern hemisphere visiting season mm. and that's more or less from june to september yeah. that is when they have summer holidays mm. in the in the northern hemisphere and mm. um, then they come to namibia and then we have the year end season so you can immediately see that october november are two fairly subdued months mm. not much is happening there whether it's tourism whether it's retail and then we get to black friday and that sends out a very clear signal that is that we are now in the last season of the year yeah and if you look at all the specials from the supermarkets and the stores and everything you can see that there's a they put a lot of effort mm. into the marketing campaigns that they have for basically one month mm. because black friday is at the end of november so all that's left is december yeah and you know how what how it's like with a typical family mm. at least mine we spend everything we've got up to the 24th of, of december. december yeah and come the 25th on christmas day we have a lovely party and a, and a, um, a lunch and everything and the 26th we sit around there and we we think to ourselves who's going to clean up this mess <laughs> 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 but then the big expenses are over yeah we we don't buy gifts after that we don't eat extravagantly we don't have old big parties we if we are, if we have a braai after the 26 it's a short piece of burevos with a little bun you know <laughs> that sort of thing yeah. and we we drink oros mm. uh, so <laughs> the point from an economic point of view is that the last part of the annual um or of the calendar year the 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 last part of the retail season is very important for businesses mm. um and i i'm very reluctant to venture a specific figure or to make an estimate because it's not well researched but i what i say i based on my observations of the past 20 years where since the time that black friday started becoming a big deal in southern africa mm. is that um if the companies did not make did not sell enough stuff during december from let's say mm. from black friday up to the day before christmas they would not have gone to all the trouble and all the expenses that they that they do to promote their products yeah. you know so the 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 effort by the retail industry and the effort by uh, um the tourism industry is proof to me that what they put in there they get back mm. plus a little bit yeah. you know so they can really make their entries in black ink <laughs> it it's it sounds weird that in a modern society we have this this ancient vestiges and um it's like economic traits that we thought were only 10 or 20 years old and now suddenly we realize it's 100 years old mm. or 200 years old and what it tells me is that um in a society where a large part of the business is dependent on sales of goods the year end uh 
month or the, the last part of uh, that last bit of the season mm. is very 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 important yeah. you know and I've, I've I've read some estimates where people say that the um, accommodation establishments in Spockermund and Walfish Bay they make up to a third of the annual turnover in just two months wow. December and January mm. and um, the same with the retail shops the supermarkets at the coast they make a very substantial part and I'm again I'm reluctant to to make an estimate but I would say that one month or two months if you add January to it the holiday season mm. easily generate about one quarter of the annual turnover mm. now it's very easy to make that calculation um, if the sales were spread evenly over 12 months it means that you you make one twelfth of your of your uh, um, annual sales mm. every month but it doesn't happen the the holiday season the spending in the holiday season is so important for so many businesses that were it not for the period between Black Friday and Christmas they would not survive they wouldn't definitely uh, but on that note Mr. Daniel Simon, let's quickly go for a short break and uh, we uh, when we come back we will of course touch on what is this for the marketing for 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 the marketers, I would say, or marketing um, industry. Mm-hmm.